expectations are, let, let me say, like bigger than last year. Um, we have a new team, seven returners, and for now five new players. And I expect definitely more wins, better result. Um, first to make a playoff, and second to be in the top four in the conference. Uh, individually, um, <laughs> um, I see myself as getting uh, better as a defensive, defensive specialist um, and in helping the team with uh, better passes and helping my setter out um, and just bringing a little bit more leadership and some more experience for the younger players. Um, individually, I think as a setter, I will um, get my sets more consistent. Um, with the help of the like, team and everybody contributing their like energy and like just positive attitudes, I think it's just gonna affect every individual by themselves and for me especially because as a setter you drive off the energy as other people. Well, I see us uh, like after we had only five practices so far and I see us in the top four teams. I didn't see other teams yet, but uh, definitely in top four teams in the conference. Usually we're good in defense, but this season we're going to be good also in offense. Uh, we have uh, new players, recruits, who's going to bring the offense on a higher level. Um, all season training is going pretty well so far. I like the passes. Um, so far, more offensively, it's really affecting the team, which is like a good improvement from last year. And defensively, still need some work, but other than that, I think we'll be fine during the season. Yeah, I have the expectations that we'll go pretty far in the playoffs. Um, hopefully make it to the championships uh, because we're looking pretty strong this year. Mm -hmm. um, we look good offensively, but we are like a newer team. You know, we only have, you know, a few returners. Um, and we are adding some big players to our team. Um, but I think chemistry might be, uh, you know, a little bit of a challenge for us. Um, along with experience, uh, because we do have some of the newer players. Um, it's just getting a vibe and how they start to play with uh, the CUNYAC. Mm -hmm. um, balancing academics, balancing athletics is just difficult for every person that's on a like CCNY team and just any team in general. Um, what's it, to be like a CCNY student, like for to be in a team for CCNY, it's just it just comes to the fact of just balancing your your life, your social life, your your academics, and just like when you sleep, when you eat, everything, it just revolves around that sport, so you have to make time. Um, and as a CCNY student, you know, in D3, it's, you know, not as much pressure as it would be in like D1, D2, but it's still like a lot of work, a lot of, um, a lot of energy that it goes into it. Um, so it is a lot of balancing, but it's definitely doable. You can still, you know, See, like you can still see your friends or whatever, but you know it's you know CCNY sports. It's uh, <laughs> D three. It makes it possible, and CCNY helps you out with that. <laughs> I think if we um, if we have good energy and the team looks good together, um, that's gonna be a key player, like a whole team as a group. Um, well, we're working hard. Um, it looks good. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs>